I'm Nair. And I'm Bello. And we are Perspeculative. And today we're going to do a nostalgia piece. Butchering your favorite childhood anime. Today we're going to do it on Ah My Goddess. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just say what we kind of remember. It's mostly going to be my memories that are very hazy because I haven't seen it hmm, since I've been an adult and (laughs) it's been a very long time. I have seen it within the last few years. I watched a few episodes, not the entire show. So the names are at least a little fresher in my memory. Yeah, not for me. I told her I remember Belle Dandy. And I remember, or we remember as kids, that I was going to name one of my kids Belle Dandy. (laughs) Yeah, that did not happen, just so you people know. Uh, But I did think about it. I also used to think about Kakarot as well. (laughs) Not as pretty there. Also Darien. That's another one. But anyway, just geeking out over here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Her favorite was the sugary good goddess of sugar. And I was Abadu, you know. (laughs) Erd was always a favorite of mine. See, Um, literally, I remember it being a super itchy anime that was definitely targeted towards guys because it was always like, oh, here's the boob jig. She was barely covered by ribbons, you know, that kind of thing. But I think it was more so brought about by the fact that I watched the movie, Oh My Goddess, where Bella has not. And in that movie, if anybody remembers it, I'm pretty sure there's full frontal nudity. And I remember the movie better than I remember the show. Yeah, for me, I don't remember it being targeted towards men or Ichi or really any of that. I mean, I know there's like the obligatory swimsuit scene. And, of course, Erd's bosomy, voluptuous outfits and stuff. But... Everybody had, like, gaboom outfits. No, Belle Dandy didn't. She was, like, super modest. And the little sister, Skull, Skull, Dude, she, no, no. I mean, she had the little skirts and stuff, but there was never, I don't remember there being anything, like, sexualized about her. The main thing I remember about her is two things. One, her coming up through his bath. With a giant hammer while he is naked, calling him a pervert and bashing him. And then her being like, oh my god, sis, you don't have to, like, stay here with him. He's disgusting. Come on, let's go home. You're so much better than this. Ew. Basically like that. Being a little sister and she loves her sister and she doesn't know this dude. So she's just trying to convince her against her sister's values to go back home to heaven. So so why don't you, since you have less memory of it, summarize the show in your memories view. And I'll try to remember if you're right. Well, all I remember is that he's trying to call up to get some Chinese food or something. And he <laughs> accidentally calls heaven. So a goddess comes down to see what's up. And... It's Belle Dandy, and he doesn't believe that she is who she says she is. Big surprise. And so he's like, you know what? You be my girlfriend. And she's like, okay. And that's kind of where it goes from there. And then it's her sisters coming back and being like, hey, sis, come home. This is stupid. Don't listen to him. You don't have to stay here. And she's like, no, this is what he wished for. I'm obeying the wish. I'm sticking with it. Yeah, and I think she kind of grows in affection. Obviously, he falls in love with her. I mean, come on. Duh. Literal goddess. Literally perfect. Well, and the bazooms, and he's a dude She's who's alone. She's like chested. I remember her being very full chested. Uh, no. Uh, she was in his little daydreams with her little ribbons barely covering her nether Again. regions and Again. other things. Again, pretty sure you remember in the movie. And... I remember there being when her angel, which isn't actually her, but it's like her angel comes out of her back. I don't remember that, that at all. she like clouds maybe ribbons around her or whatever, but she's... No, it was definitely him daydreaming. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. No, 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 no. Okay, so he definitely is calling for food, but he's on the phone with her, and she's like, what would you wish for? And then while she's talking, I feel like he dozes off or whatever, and is like, she's so nice. And he's like, I would wish more than anything for a girlfriend like you, because he literally 
is deigned by the stars to have bad luck in every single thing that he does. So he's had an extremely misfortunate life. And you don't think That's, this is targeted towards men? <laughs> I, I don't think it is. I really don't because it was... To me, not just about the, their romance between them, but it was also about sisterly love and affection. And I thought like it had a lot of girl elements, almost the way Sailor Moon did. So to me, I didn't think it was targeted necessarily towards anyone. I mean, of course, you would love if you called a hotline and a perfect soulmate was just wished up for you, but it didn't really start that way. They fell in love just the way anybody would. Mm. And it just so happened, yeah, she was from heaven. She was perfect. Yeah, it just so mm. happened. And yes, he was an average, everyday guy who had no money and rode a moped or a motorbike. Yeah, what every dude hopes for. I gotcha. This is like, <laughs> he's the every dude and this is what every dude hopes for. That's why I say dude-centered. But anyway, I do also remember something, and I think you didn't remember it, which was Something about that there was a guy that she was in love with or supposed to marry at one time and was older than her and he died and the sisters gave her mouth to mouth, gave her, uh, you know, because for the guys, <laughs> and I guess for the ladies, you know, but gave her a potion to make her forget to make her happy again. And I don't know if I'm confusing that with a different show or if that was actually oh my goddess or the movie oh my goddess because you said you didn't remember that at all no right? i don't remember that being the case at all i remember skull with the virus in heaven or something and that's why she comes down or something she wants <laughs> bell dandy to help her i don't remember i remember the cat demon lady who was sealed up in a record and the two dumb heads of the car fan group whatever it was, the mechanic club oh, that they were a part of. They played the record and released her because they thought it was a heavy metal record, but it was actually a seal on a demon. And then she was all like, meow! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't remember that, like, at all. At all. I do remember that I loved All My Goddess when I was young. Probably would have given it a nine back in the day or something. Oh yeah, ridiculous. definitely like a ten. I yeah. printed out pictures and had them on my walls, literally. Yeah, back in the day when you used to have to print out pictures on the computer at the library and put them in your binder before they had stickers of anime and stuff like that. Well, and hope that they're not terribly, terribly pixelated. Oh, they were. They were terrible. <laughs> some of them. Some of them. Because I had a lot of Dragon Ball Z as well. But mm -hmm. that's another segment. Anyway, if we have gotten anything wrong and you're raging, please feel free to comment about it because I really don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Our plan is to make a part two to these nostalgia videos and actually go back, watch a handful of episodes at least, and then come back and do our second round with fresh eyes. This is, oh, we got this wrong, and also this, but- Sure as you, the heck didn't remember that. Yeah, you know, that exactly, kind of stuff. and it is not just for the guys. So she says, we'll see, we'll see. All right, folks, we'll see you later. <laughs>